Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris with a beard and I know it's been a while. I've been super busy with a bunch of other things. I know that's no excuse as you guys want to see the review videos, you want to see more unboxing videos and I know you want to see other stuff that I have going on. And uh, I'm doing a review today finally on five burrows grooming now you already seen the unboxing video but now we're going to get into the actual on or yeah review <laughs> so um let's do a little uh history on five burrows grooming here they are a family-owned business out of long island new york uh owners is johnny and samantha and some of the stuff that they offer are mustache wax remover, beard oils, beard butter, beard wash, beard and body soaps, uh, beard pen filler, which I actually did a little research on. Um, it's not something that I would be interested in, but nonetheless, I haven't seen any beard company offer that, so that's what makes them stand out. Uh, they got the beard combs, snapbacks, and some magnets for like, you know, your refrigerator or whatnot. Um, I mean to ask them if I can actually put something like that on my car, but anyways, that is the the products that they offer. Um, and like I said, they're out of Long Island, New York, which is pretty interesting because it's not that far from upstate New York. So we're almost like neighbors. Hey Johnny, I'm doing a video right now. Yeah, the uh, the review. Yeah, I'll get back to you a little later. <laughs> so, I have five oils that I'm reviewing, along with three matching butters for three of those oils. I'm going to start with the one that he slapped in there for free. Um, I spent, oh, uh, I think it was around 100 bucks, so he threw in this uh, beard oil here, and this is the To Beard Co. And I've used, you know, Quite, I mean, a little bit of it. I, I can't say quite a bit, but uh, the scent profile for To Beard Co. is pipe tobacco, Cuban tobacco, sweet tobacco, tonka bean, and warm vanilla. And this is part of their signature blend oil, um, which is different ingredients from another one that I'm going to be talking about. But the ingredients are as followed. Jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, apricot oil, castor oil, vitamin E, and the fragrance. So we got, and I dropped the cap. So I get the uh, tonka bean and vanilla right away. And then these tobaccos are so interesting that he uh, put three of them in there and it just smells absolutely wonderful. I don't know how these tobaccos work so well with each other. Maybe he just like lightly uses each one of them and then it's like not so overpowering, but that tonka bean and warm vanilla really balances it out extremely well. Now I gotta find this cap. Oh, thank God it didn't roll under my couch. And they are uh, restrictor caps, so for us uh, dropper top lovers out there, these aren't that hard to, you know, spring out the oil. Um, I know I've had companies in the past that uh, have had restrictor caps, and it's you got to really shake it to to grab that oil out of there. So I don't have to deal with that with theirs, um, and I don't mind restrictor caps. I'm kind of. Uh, 50-50, you know, with dropper tops that I actually do enjoy it, so. Next we have 36 Chambers. Scent profile for this is Banana Cream, Sweet Peach, Blue Musk, Tobacco, Dark Amber, and Apricot. There's a whole lot going on here. So I get that Banana Cream for sure. Then that peach pokes through. And then the musk. Um, 
that apricot, and then the other ones are a little bit hidden for me. So like the, the tobacco and amber must be really light in this uh, scent profile because I get the other ones uh, a little bit stronger. Again, I've used, you know, pretty much decent amount of that already. These were filled to, you know, about that line there. So, next, let's go with the orange cedar wood. I've used quite a bit of that. We have the sparkling notes of juicy citrusy orange bursting through base notes of cedar wood is the scent profile. So, it's a light citrus. It's not so overpowering, and you get that cedar wood. The cedar wood actually doesn't poke out until actually, like, it sits in the beard. Then the orange kind of silently goes away, and then that cedar wood uh, comes through amazingly. But as far as, like, smelling it right out of the bottle, you're not going to get too much of that cedar wood, in my opinion. But this is definitely a banger. Next, we have their Emu Blend series, and this one's called You're Killing Me Smalls <laughs> off of the Sandlot. So, love the artwork there. And uh, this doesn't differentiate from their actual uh, signature blend because all that's added is 50% Emu. And then the rest is the same as the signature blend of the jojoba, sweet almond, apricot, castor, vitamin E, and fragrances. I've used quite a bit of that as well. Uh, scent profile, warm graham cracker, toasted marshmallow, milk, chocolate, sweet tobacco, sandalwood, and a hint of baseball glove leather. This reminds me of something that... It's, it's like camping, really. Um, just that graham cracker, toasted marshmallow, that milk chocolate is so good. That's about like the strongest thing that pokes through is that milk chocolate. And then the sandalwood and, and the leather are like very, very light, so it doesn't overpower this uh, scent profile. But this, I love emu. Uh, especially because, you know, I deliver outside that this is very, very good when I get inflammation of the face because of all the elements that I'm exposed to. The last one here is my absolute favorite is why I saved it for last. Miami Vice. I love this oil. I have been using the crap out of this. Um doesn't look like it but I really have um, but the scent profile for this is grapefruit pear blue musk amber apple rum or yeah apple rum vanilla orange and pineapple and I can't tell you which one pokes out more than the other because they just all hit you at once this is something that I wish that Johnny would make in a cologne because I would wear this every single day. This is so absolutely wonderful. You could probably make this somehow, maybe some way, an alcoholic drink, and it would be a banger. So absolutely great job on that. That is my favorite scent of all time. When I run out of that, I will buy more of it. Now we move on to the butters. First matching one is the orange cedar wood. Ingredients for their beard butter is shea butter, emu oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, apricot, castor, vitamin E, and fragrance. These butters are one ounces, which is absolutely awesome because they don't want you to have leftover oil and then you still have an overabundance of butter, so hopefully you know, granted, you're probably going to run through both at the same exact time. So that's basically the philosophy behind that. I personally think that the scents are stronger in the butter. 
which is not a bad thing because sometimes you can smell the uh, carrier oils in the butter, like Shea, for example. I've noticed some companies, um, the scents are just not poking through over the carrier oils, um, but no problem here. I've been using the crap out of the butters uh, for sure. Orange Cedarwood is probably my second favorite um, from the Signature Oil Blend. Uh, next one, 36 Chambers. You already know the ingredients and scent profile. I haven't used too much of this one. Um, not that it's not good, but it's not one of my favorites. And then the other one, I had to get it. You already know, Miami Vice, my favorite. I have used the absolute hell out of this butter. <laughs> I love it, and it's so smooth. Like, I don't have to press at all. And I love it. The breakdown is amazing. It makes my beard incredibly smooth. And the smell is just, I love it. Like, it's so good I want to eat it. And obviously don't do that. But let's talk about price points. In conclusion, their signature oils, you know, just to give you a, a little glance again, Miami Vice Signature Oil Blend is $14.99, which is more than a fair price. Um, I believe it's below the market average, and I I just think it's wonderful. Like For that being a price point for a one-ounce oil, you can't go wrong. Emu Blend Oil, $19.99. Obviously, Emu is uh, more of a premium oil carrier oil so it makes sense that it would be a little more and I'm fine with that one ounce butter $12.99 you heard me $12.99 are you freaking kidding me that is absolutely amazing price point it's cheaper than the oils um, all in all Johnny slam dunk on the products Miami Vice is my favorite Hopefully y'all can check out the website. I have that linked in the description along with my other links. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video. So maybe think about leaving a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel. And only together we can discover the beard difference.